Hello and welcome to the Carbon Active uh, Development Facility. I would like to show you briefly, shortly, a little bit about the stage, what we were doing the last year. And uh, so everybody who's not able to come and visit us personally are uh, doing a small, quick tour about the development states. Please follow me. Um, as you can see, we are in a closed, um, surrounded area, a hall. Outside there is the big hall, so we um, closing us in, so we can control the air, which is also in front of the grow rooms. And so when we open the door, we already have controlled uh, air and klima, which we gonna carry just to. Please, I know I should gonna wear suits to enter a room and then of course I have to change myself again to another room but we are developing the facilities here so we are not going to change every single time so this is what I'm doing not perfectly correct but it's all about showing you a little bit around the states. So um, here we present you a standardized um, module of table lamps and a standardized ventilation system which has no klima, no nothing, just the room temperature goes up, the klima goes up too. It's hard to control the temperature perfectly and also not easy to control the humidity. This is also why we call it the reference room one, which we're going to have a second one here. We have LED lights, which is standard these days, and also for our projects. Um, you can see we have one lamp over one table, and this means you have a decent light, 600 micromol maximum light in this room for giving the plant what it needs. And this, as I mentioned, is standard room one, which we're going to turn around. We're going to see the standard room number two. Here also we have just um, the same setup, but the difference is that you have a little bit more lights in it, 700 micromol per square meter per second. And here we're going to find out about problems which regular grow rooms have in terms of ventilation, irrigation, and also just little light, 700 micromoles, right? So during this uh, development state, we were, of course, leveling up. And one question for people always ask me is what kind of light should they use? What kind of um, lamps, even LED or which brand or HPS? And because we were more likely only <laughs> developing grow rooms and uh, air handling units, that was not on our case. And then we said to Martin from Sunlight, please, why don't you bring the lights to our compartment? I'm not telling anybody how and Martin brought up the setup which you can see the light is more spread over the whole surface even going outside on the edges where all the plants will get more likely similar light. Um, so that was just the state in between. This room is already klima controlled and regulated. You can see it here with a very simple and easy system. It's not something which is uh, developed by us. So this is just a standard product. This is also what we're trying is to find the right components, not to make things too expensive because we know it has to be the best price to get the maximum out. But what's the maximum? I mean, if you grow CBD and you sell it, that's one level. Then you have medical THC, that's a different level, and then you can go to the API level where we have everything perfectly controlled, and this is actually where we're going. So this was just an in-between step for uh, lights to find out about 
how to bring lights into the room. And this is now our um, room, which we say should be a standard anyways. Hello, everybody. Hello. This is also uh, Plagron working here, doing some fertilizing tests in this room. And as you can see, these plants do look already lots different, so they're all more likely the same plants at the same time. Here you do have already optical difference. So well, what was changing? So in the first room we had 600 micromol, then we had um, 700 micromol. This room we've just been in before was 900 micromol, and here in this room you can go up to 1,300 micromol. What you can do here, it's always not easy to see on the camera, but you have to keep the camera very still. So then you can see the lights are moving down. And this is why, so I'm not going too low, <laughs> otherwise they cannot work anymore. But if you have it on the right height over the plants, you get the perfect light through the whole room. And while moving the lamp towards the canopy, you can lower the light intensity to get the same amount of micromole you're looking for. And in this case, you are saving energy. And energy saving is always, always a big topic in growing facilities because when your production cost of one kilogram is less than the ones of your competitors, then you stay in the game. Um, while you're moving the lamps, you have to come and show the lovely audience the moving for the ventilation. Why? It's not only that you're not hitting the lamps with the incoming uh, air, it's more that the grower actually decides how much air should be turned over the plants. If you have young plants, you don't want them to get too much air. If you have bigger plants, you want them to have more air. And this is why you can set up both directions separately. And also, of course, the air speed or the movement in the room. So you can control everything, the air, the light, and then, of course, you have the chance to produce the best canopy possible. This was just a very, very quick introduction in our development states. I would like to update very soon uh, another video, which I'm going to explain more about tables or irrigation or lamps more in detail. That was just a quick overview for the people who wanted to see it from A to B. Thank you very much for watching.